In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I do to beat Awaoni in 13 minutes and 29 seconds. If you've never played this game before, I'll leave a link in the description. Please play it casually first before you watch this too. It's really worth it. So I'm going to teach you how to speedrun this game by walking you through my PB of 1329. If you hold down Q, you can go through text really, really fast, as you'll be able to see in a moment. Timing starts and pressing OK after choosing our character name. Now you can see how fast holding Q lets text pass. You should hold down Q for almost the entire run. First you go collect the plate shard and then walk back out of the room back into the main lobby. Collect the key from under the table by pressing space next to the chair to make it move to the side. Use the key to enter the library. This is the first chase of the game, and for this chase, The chase is now over, so now move the bed to the side and drop down the hole and you enter the piano room. Now we have our first big puzzle. This puzzle has five solutions which I'm showing on the screen now. And this run took me four tries to get it right, which is not ideal. Now we go downstairs and collect the Phillips head screwdriver from the open bathroom. Now we do what I call Mika Skip. Enter the tatami room and activate this Oni chip. Head up the stairs and enter the Mika room. Immediately after you enter the room, walk to the left two times and then walk back to the right two times and exit the door. You should phase right through the Oni and end the chase. Do not go into this room after that. Head into your inventory and use the Phillips head screwdriver on the door and collect the door handle. Open the tatami door and collect the lighter from inside. In this exact area, use the plate shard to open this door frame and then put the doorknob onto it. Select the lighter fluid and put it into the lighter. Select the lighter and then light up the candle in the center of the room. Feel free to save the game before attempting this upcoming trick and just reloading if you fail. Open this door here and then go around in a circle. If you do it right, you should be able to skip a kind of famous scene. Now head for this door and enter the basement. Go to the room on the left and collect the flathead from the top of the cabinet here. Move aside whatever these are. Select the flathead from your inventory, and then select the flathead screwdriver. That will reveal this safe, for which the password is 5376. Attempt to open the door twice to start the Mika Oni chase. Go upstairs, go into the room on the left, and collect the light bulb. Move this whatever that is, and get the lighter fluid.
go into the room on the left, put the lighter fluid into the lighter again, and then activate the lighter, talk to Takeshi. After he runs out of the room, push the statue through the door, and then push it down the stairs that lead up to the annex. Collect the blue stone by selecting on it. Do not go upstairs like I just did. Go up here and go into the room on the left and collect the doll on the bottom. The one with the red eye. Go up to the room of the fireplace. Use a lighter on the fireplace to light the fireplace. Put the doll into the fireplace and then collect the red stone from the fireplace. Go downstairs, go up, go to the room on the right side, and go to the doll on the bottom and put the two stones into the doll's eyes until the head falls off. Then put the light bulb onto the doll's head. Put the doll's head onto this impossible puzzle and reveal a safe. There are three solutions to this puzzle shown on screen right now. During this chase, go into the lobby Go to the right, fall through the floorboards, and then go up through this door. The chase should now end, and you should be in the annex basement. Use your lighter. Go to the room on the bottom left, and push aside the tree to turn on the lights. Now we have another password. This time there's only one. One, two, three, seven. When the two Onis start chasing you, go to this room and then hide in the closet. There is a way to not hide in the closet, but it's very hard and I don't know how to do it. Press space the second time you hear the two door slams. Go to the room on the top and attempt to enter the closet, but actually there's Takuro in there. Talk to Takuro for a bit and he'll give you some vinegar. Push aside the curtains, drain the tub, and push the tub away. Select the vinegar from your item menu and put it on the red key to get the iron gate key. In the order red, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, red, shown on screen right now, select on these paintings. The red one should fall down and you should collect a stick. Click on the stick or the disc from your item menu and make them into a key. Go to the bottom left of this room and enter the door with a key. Select on the ladder and then go back into the room to get to Kuro. Now head back to the ladder. You've been bamboozled. It turns out the Oni has eaten your ladder, and now you're stuck here again. Exit the annex basement. Go up the stairs, go through the left door here, fall back down and enter the annex basement again. Now, go through back into where the ladder was. Head back into the left doll room. Turn off the lights and then use a plate shard on where the black line is pointing and enter through the door. building. Go to the doorless room. Collect the stick from the bottom right and then press exactly where I'm doing on the video.
go down the stairs and enter whatever this place is called. Go to this room, open the curtains, collect the rope. Go down to this room, activate the lighter, put it into the candle, and then use the stick onto where this flash is. Go back upstairs, and on where the hole is, use your rope. Activate your lighter, and then go get the blue piece from the frame. This is the first out of three blue pieces. And then go back up. Go to the left side of this room, don't be spooked by that picture frame smashing, and then use the flathead screwdriver on the four holes. Try not to be spooked by the cat, and then do get horrified by whatever this is. There are probably many ways to do this, but what I do is I go downstairs and then enter this room and then exit. If this doesn't work for you, you can find your own way. Re-enter this room. Push the chair to the safe, get on the chair, and then put in the code 3045. Now, go back out and go to the room right next to the stairs. Head back down into this basementy area. Now prepare yourself, because we're now entering... Just want to open the door to escape, eventually. Go immediately back in and everything's goddamn gone! Collect the final blue piece, and lo and behold, it's your old friend Takuro. Turns out he didn't die after all. Go to the room on the left of this basement area, and open your goddamn menu, and get spooked. Escape any way you can, and then head back down into that area. Put all the blue pieces into the frame. Head up through the door. Go up these stairs. And once you pass the bottom of the screen, the time ends. In-game time is also measured on the leaderboards, which comes after the credits. I just like to make it clear that that is the best ending to any game in the world. So after these credits roll, you can see the in-game time, and I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you to subscribe, please. If you enjoyed this video, I might make more like it for the other speed games I play. If you enjoyed it,
subscribe. Run Tundra's IRL.